Oregon's ban on book bans is one step closer to becoming law. The bill would restrict school boards from banning books in school libraries if the ban is done in a discriminatory way. It's Senate Bill 1583 and it passed the Senate last week. It's sponsored by Oregon Senator Lou Frederick, who represents North and Northeast Portland. I think it will stop the, uh, the effort to try to discriminate against groups of people. And right now we see that as part of the, uh, a national effort uh, to, to, and, and a local effort and a state, a state effort too to try to discriminate against different groups of people uh, and, they, and using the books as a way to do that. This I think basically takes that, that particular approach out of the mix and lets, lets us read, let kids find out about reading. It, it does not force anybody to read anything. It says these things are available. An overwhelming majority of the books challenged in both school and public libraries are either by or about people of color or LGBTQ people. That's the trend both in Oregon and nationally. Senator Frederick says this bill only targets those discriminatory book challenges. Books could still be removed from libraries if they are not age appropriate. But opponents of the bill say it takes away the power of locally elected school boards. I don't think that it's this body's responsibility to tell a school district what they can and cannot make available. I want to be clear that books still exist whether or not it's in their library. We're not banning books, we're not burning books, we're just saying that this probably isn't something that a child should be encouraged to read. A similar bill has passed both chambers in Washington and it's on its way to the governor's desk there. In both states, parents could still contact their kid's school and request that their child not have any access to any books they find objectionable. And kids wouldn't be forced to read anything. They would have the option to check them out of the school library, though. The Oregon Intellectual Freedom Committee testified on behalf of the Oregon bill. They're a group through the Oregon Library Association that helps work on policies that support libraries. They've been tracking book challenges in Oregon for more than 30 years, and they say last year had the highest number of challenges ever. This week, they released a report looking at a book challenge we covered last year in the Canby School District. Two community members requested that 37 different books be removed from the libraries, saying they contained sexual content, violence, and drugs. 13 of those include LGBTQ or racial themes. The school district pulled all of the books off the school shelves for the months through the end of the school year while they were reviewed. Dozens of students and members of the community protested, demanding that they return. In the end, the district only removed one book, Lolita. Others were returned in the summer, but some had age restrictions for kids to check them out. The Intellectual Freedom Committee says Canby went about the book challenge in the wrong way, especially because they removed the books before they were reviewed. When a title is being removed, even for five minutes or 10 minutes or two weeks or however long that title is not available or accessible to the community that it was previously available, um, specifically because of the content within that that title that is considered censorship for the amount of time that it is not on the shelf. So for this particular scenario with the 35 or 37 titles to be removed from circulation during the review process, that would be considered to us censorship. Guidance from the Oregon Department of Education says that challenged books should stay in circulation until the review process is complete. They also say the district was not transparent in their review process and did not offer a way for their final decision on the books to be appealed. The decision to remove these titles from circulation was, from our understanding, very quick. So two parents went to a board meeting. Um, they were pretty adamant in their concern. And almost immediately after that, the titles were removed from uh, circulation, again, under the umbrella that they would be reviewed. Um, However, we also have gone back and watched those board meetings and saw an incredibly vocal community that wanted those titles to stay on the shelf. And so um, this idea that, well, they're speaking on behalf of the community, well, the community has been pretty clear that they didn't want this to happen, and yet it was at the will of two parents that it did. And so I would ask the Canby School District to really look at the number of individuals that are saying we don't want restricted access to information. We want our children to be able to learn openly. And it, if there are two parents that have concerns, ask those two parents to set um, guidelines for their own particular family unit and not allow those two parents to dictate the entire school district. 
The committee is asking the Canby District to remove age restrictions on all the books and to return Lolita to the libraries. And they want Canby to update their book review policies.